Hi guys, so today we're having a look at the new eyeliners from Kaleidos. Now, so far, I think I've loved everything I've tried from Kaleidos. Their Cloud Lab lip paints, their highlighters, I've got a couple of eyeshadow palettes. So when I saw this collection coming out, I was quite excited. So, this is their Night of Creation collection. I actually bought the full set, which was $120 or £107.50. But I'm mainly focusing on the eyeliner because that's what's kind of a new product for them. Um, I will quickly talk about the full collection you know, at the end of the video. So, the full set of eyeliners is £70 and 77 pence, compared to buying them individually at £14 and 33 pence. So, um, they put the, the kind of markdown price as being £86. So, if you bought, you know, six of them at fourteen thirty three, that would be the eighty six pounds, whereas buying them as a bundle it's seventy pounds and seventy seven pence. So yeah, these were the kind of new product to Kaleidos. Um as I said, so they're what I was most excited about. I've got a little application section and we're gonna do a little bit of a wear test and I will check in throughout the day. Right, so I've done most of my makeup. Now to look at these eyeliners, and I'm even happy just looking at the boxes, which is kind of sad. I've got the information up on my screen. So there's four different finishes. There's Tourmaline and Solaris, which they describe as a radiant spectrum multichrome. Night of Creation, which is a velvet multichrome. It's the purple, so I think that's what we're using today. Then there's Seven Seas in Limelight, which are prismatic multichromes, and Sea Sparkle, which is a dynamic metallic, which looks like it might be light enough to play with as an inner corner highlight. So let's pull them out for now. Do, do, do. Now, first question of the day is... Yeah, right. So it's on the back. So I've got... Are they actually in order? They are. Tourmaline, Solaris, Night of Creation... Seven Seas, Limelight, and Sea Sparkle. So. Da, 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 da. Okay. So. It's a kind of see through kind of packaging component, whatever people like to call them. But you can see some of the mechanics in it. And it is a twist up. You can twist it back down. That is always the first thing I check. It doesn't have any of the bits on the end that you can pop off to like sharpen them. Um, some of these type style of pencils, like the wind up ones, have a bit that you can pop off at the end that help you with sharpening it. That's not one of them. That has a spudger on the end. I'll find one and show you later. Anyway, so this is the one that we're going to use today. The Night of Creation and the shade name is on the bottom. Why are you grumbling at a friend? Do you want a sweetie? Sorry, Flynn just came in and he was grumbling. I don't know why, because he's just in from a walk. Um, anyway, so, Night of Creation. It doesn't look like there's a lot of product in here, because, like I said, you can see the um, mechanism. So this is where the product starts being loaded. That being said, I don't think this is going to be an everyday shade for me to use um, but if you're like me um, I'm not very good at you know like I look at the weights and things I don't know what it means in real life um, but this you can see how much you've got it is quite a chunky um, kind of crayon don't know how much luck I'm gonna have doing a winged liner but we're gonna try it anyway I might have to get an angled brush to finish it though Okay, so it's fairly creamy, that's good, not like melting onto my skin in sit. Oh, it just broke on me, oh, right, I'm going to put up less, but I do not have a sharp edge, so I suppose there is that, but then if that happens again, I'm going to burn through this product so fast, it shouldn't be good. So I am loving this colour, but I'll be honest, I'm only seeing one colour. I'm not getting the 
multi-chrome effect off of it. Yeah, it's just looking like a pretty metallic and I'm going to have to find that bit that broke off because I have pale grey carpet. They do not want a metallic purple smudge on it. Oh, and I need to fix my eye makeup. I think my setting spray has disturbed it a little bit. Anyway, we'll do this first. Get that little edge out again. Okay, so I had a little bit of back and forward there. It still just looks like a very metallic purple to me. It's weird when I'm looking at it in in the tube, like in real life, I can see like goldy bits to it. But when as soon as I hold it up to the camera, all I see is purple. I'm trying to get it out of the ring light. I'm still I'm still just seeing the purple. Which finish was this there and as again? Velvet multichrome. I don't know. We'll, we'll foot her around with different lights. Um, I've lost the cap. This is not a good start. I Right, I'll find it in a minute. So, see Sparkle? Let's have a look. I'm going to swatch this in my hand so that I can see if it's light enough to use as a inner corner highlight. So I've made that mistake before. Ah, I've stood the cap up. Put that in there. So... Oh, oh, now I can see the multi-chrome. It's got the goldy sheen to it. Will you guys be able to see it? Can you see the goldy? More than purple? More goldy? More purple? There we go. So, see, Sparkle was the metallic. Dynamic metallic. Um, the swatch does look very one shaded. I have to say the Night of Creation one looks more pink and purple but it's showing as a kind of rose goldy colour for me and I don't think I can be using this as a inner corner but I'll play with my lower lash line because I think that might work. I mean I've went in with a blue highlighter so um, it's the Skywalker highlighter from Kaleidos if anybody's wondering. They're expensive but they're pretty. Now this one feels a lot creamier um, than the other one. And yeah, only really getting one colour off of it. Um, and like I said, even the swatches online only really has one colour. Um, yeah, it seems to blend a bit more easily. Um, so that is what we're playing with. I'm going to throw on some mascara just to get some definition back for two seconds and then we'll swatch the rest of them. Right, I'm back. I threw on a lip colour as well. This is Mercury Wave, also from Kaleidos. So, let's throw on some more liners. So, Seven Seas is the first one that I'm picking up. And this is the Prismatic Multichrome. So in the swatches, this looks like it should be a really pronounced green, kind of lime green yellow um, colour. And actually the packaging is a bit more green than, say, Sea Sparkle, which is very blue. Um, and then this is the Night of Creation, which is more purple. So the packaging's matching. I think that's pretty cool. Um, it also means you kind of don't have to look for the shade name and remember what the shade name means because the packaging is going to help you out. Yeah, so that's got a very pronounced um, kind of duochrome effect, if I can get it to pick up on camera. Um, I may have to try different lighting sources, but this is giving me a really nice kind of teal when I get it at the right angle. I just can't find it with this kind of direct light source, but trust me, the duochrome in this one 
is pretty, or the multi-comb on this one is quite strong. So what's the one that goes with that actually? So it goes with Limelight, which is this one. So this is a blue to green, looks like, so again, more greeny based packaging. I think you can catch it going just a tiny bit blue there. Um, I'm going to have to film somewhere else to really catch these in their full glory, but it's a really nice one. So then lastly we've got Solaris and Tourmaline, which are the Radiant Spectrum Multichromes. And I have grabbed Solaris, which is a yellow to kind of orangey coppery red looking one. I'm just going to do these at the other side because I'm getting too close to my knuckles. So, yeah, so this was the yeah, Radiant Spectrum. Um, it's not quite as pronounced as the last two, but I am seeing it. You see it just a little bit there. It's a bit more red towards this end. And then, oh, this one's almost the other way around. Like, I can't show you the other other colour. Okay. Weird. And last but not least, we have Tourmaline, which looks like a kind of... A, Greenish yellow going into pink, so a bit of greeny bit at the end. So, yeah, definitely seeing the green strongly in this one. Pink, so the pink's picking up on camera much easier. That's so weird. Right, anyway, I'm gonna go and try and find some other light sources that'll show you these properly. Um, in the meantime, if I can hide all the notifications on my phone, it is five to three. Um, I'm going to stay up late tonight um, so that I can properly try these out. They are described as long lasting, waterproof and smudge proof, one swipe glide with vibrant colour payoff, smooth and easy application without skipping, vegan and cruelty free. So I'm going to leave these swatches in my hand because obviously I'll be washing my hands throughout the day and we'll see how they hold up as well and we'll see how this holds up on the eyes. There we go, so you can see the blue and they have more green and yellow. And yeah, so the purple one's still the only one that I was expecting to see a shift on that I'm just not seeing as much of a shift. Hello Flynn. Flynn, say hi to the YouTube people. <laughs> Um, but yeah, you can definitely see the other ones here, and then the Sea Sparkle one that's blue. Even the swatch online didn't show a shift on that one, so that's not as sad as the purple one. <laughs> right, so I'm back for a quick check-in. I'm about to go for a nap because we did start later today because my schedule's not working with wear tests. So I'm going to go for a nap come back at like 1am or something. So time to snow is almost 11, right? Swatches in my hand are still mostly still there. We've lost. Who are you? Was it Limelight? <clears throat> We've mainly lost one of the greeny coloured ones. I'm pretty sure it was Limelight. Let me find it and double check. No, it wasn't Limelight. It's the other green one. 7C? Mm. Yeah, so 7Cs we have kind of lost um, slightly, which is a shame, but the other colours are doing good. What was the other C one? Yeah, so Sea Sparkle, Night of Creation, Tourmaline, Solaris, and Limelight are doing pretty good. Um, I oddly feel like the duochrominess has decreased, almost like one pigment's leaving before the other. Um, I have washed my hands a few times. In terms of what's on my face though, which is the most important part, because that's where you're probably going to wear the eyeliner, um, the purple is still nice and metallic, it's very to looking, and the lower lash line is still there. So we'll see how it does with having a nap. Maybe this will be the world's worst plan, but I definitely think the ones on my hand will suffer because I tend to like stick my hand under my pillow and 
all sorts. So we'll be back just to see how the eyes have held up. Right, so I'm back. It's one in the morning and sleeping and then switching a ring light on your face is not a good combination. Um, anyway, <laughs> this has remarkably um, survived me having a nap as well. Foundation on my nose hasn't, but you know, strange. Yeah, there's a bit of wear and tear on this eye. To be honest, I don't know what's going on with this eye today. Um, it's like it's the the liner has faded just a wee bit. And I've got this weird situation going on with the eyeshadow. I don't know what's going on with the eyeshadow. Anyway, um, I'm going to have another little play with these tomorrow. Um, I want to see if any of the stronger geochrome ones actually show up um, when they're on the eye. So I'll have another play tomorrow and I will be back with a kind of final decision. For just now, I'm taking my makeup off and going back to bed. Hi guys, so excuse the makeup, it's been a long, long day, complete with Bally. So, like I said, I wanted to come back and try more of the liners. I've tried Limelight and, excuse the eyeshadow, I'm not really picking up on the duochrome effect when it's actually on my eye either. It's kind of making me sad because it was so pretty when it was on my hands. But I'm just not seeing it actually on the eye. So anyway, I wanted to come back and talk about this kind of collection as a whole. The liners themselves, which is what I want to focus on, they're very pretty. The dual chrome just seems to be a bit hit or miss whether it's actually going to pick up, or the multi-chrome, sorry. Um, so that is kind of a shame, but they're so pretty as metallic ones that I kind of don't care. Um, like. I, yeah, I, I genuinely don't think that I care at all, um, and I just want to put more of them on, like Solaris, because I done this a while ago with a different multi-chrome eyeliner, used it as a waterline, and it was so pretty. I don't think this was the colour to do it with though, because it's kind of orangey. Um, again, you don't really see too much of the other shade there. A little bit, actually a wee bit of a goldy sheen there. So maybe the maybe the, the wetness, the waterline helps it. Anyway, so eyeliners, super pretty. As metallic liners, as multi-chrome liners, mm, I've seen, I think I've seen better if for being harsh about it. Um, I mean, I've got some really affordable ones from She Glam. Where like, Yeah, I feel like you can pick up the purple green duochrome there much easier. See how it looks kind of purple green, purple green. Way more visible on the eye. But as I keep saying, uh, just as like metallic sparkly liners, the Kleidos ones, beautiful. Still slightly gutted that one of them snapped, but the other ones I've played with since I haven't had that problem with at all, so that's fine. Collection as a whole, so the eyeshadow palettes. I think my other ones are downstairs, but this one Glowing Iris I had on in the first section of the video and the colours are super pretty. I love that Kaleido's glittery eyeshadows you can actually put on with a brush. You don't have to use your finger. Um, the other one I've used today and it's looking a little bit worn because, like I said, long day being at Bali. I also got this tone activating primer in my order, which I don't remember ordering. Maybe there was some kind of spend X amount and get this for free. Maybe it was a mistake. I don't know. But I got it so I played with it. So I used it on both eyes in the first section of the video and it's it says it's waterproof and things and like my eyeshadow had creased pretty much instantly after I used setting spray 
And then today I used it on this eye and the my normal one, which is this NYX Ultimate Primer on this eye. Um, I would say price-wise they're probably fairly comparable. Um, I think this was like £8.98. Um, but you get 0 0.41 fluid ounces, whereas the next one you get 0 0.27. So this might actually be slightly cheaper than the next one. Anyway, um, when I came in from work before I went to Bali, this eye was creased. This one was not. And I'm sure you can still see that this eye is definitely worse. So I'm going to continue using that primer, not this one. The palettes themselves, really pretty. Love Kaleido's eyeshadows. They blend, they're pigmented, they last. Um, if you've bought their primer at the same time and you're thinking the eyeshadows are rubbish, they're not, just use a different primer. Kinda sad that there wasn't any lip stuff, but there we go. So I bought the whole bundle, which came with like the display case. And compared to previous kind of add-on specials that I've got from Kaleidos, like I got this with my first Kaleidos palette. Um, which was the Club Nebula palette. So look how beautiful that is. Like I can use this for like jewellery. Um, the padding comes out so it's you know actually like a decent sized you know box. I can have hair things in it. All sorts. Beautiful. And then the last collection that the brought I think it was the last one before this, you could get this jewellery chest. And I think this is absolutely beautiful. And mine's is full, in case you can't hear, right? So, like, like, look at this, right? It's got a mirror, and then it's got these beautiful drawers, and that's that was some. I can't remember what the collection was called. It's really bad. Um, that was the blusher from it, and like even the insides of the drawers. Like, I'm going to show you this. Like the attention to detail. Like. Absolutely beautiful. So when this one said display case, I was thinking, okay, maybe it'll still be like something. It's, it's not. Look at this thing, it's heavy. Not heavy, but there's a lot in it. So yeah, it's genuinely a display case that you would only really use if you were like a shop. So it's all covered in fabric. The fabric's quite cool. I'm sure if I was arty, I'd be able to take this off and make something out of it. But it's genuinely like, it's genuinely a display stand. You don't quite, like it's a very impractical way to display your makeup. Like it's going to take up a lot of space for what it actually is. It is quite literally the object that they used in their teaser video. <laughs> but they've just made lots of them. I don't even have these all out. Because one of them's downstairs and doing my makeup. One palette and one eyeshadow. Uh, one palette and one eyeliner are downstairs. Yeah. So it's literally that. And it takes up a lot of space. Height wise, everything. It's just not practical. And I, I genuinely regret buying this full bundle. Um, so that's a shame. So if you were feeling sad that you missed out on the full bundle, I wouldn't worry about it too much. Um, you know, just just get the things that you want. Um, the you see all the swatches, the eyeliners. Choose colors that are good for you. I still recommend them as a good eyeliner, but if you want for a stronger multi-chrome, maybe have a look for these She Glam Chromazone ones. Um, if you can still get them, if you've got any questions. Leave them down below and I'll get back to you. I am going to go and get this edited and go to bed so that I can get back up at 6 o'clock tomorrow. So yeah, I've been awake for 16 hours, which is my limit. <laughs> I'll catch you guys later. Bye.